Okay, this is a demo of the MXR185 drum machine, another EEPROM based drum machine from the middle 1980s, I guess. Uh, not a very popular drum machine and kind of a Lindrum clone, but interesting in different ways. Um, I got it off eBay for not too much and it had some problems with it. The guy couldn't store any patterns, so he sold it to me, he was local, and he sent it to me really quick. I added a different power switch, I can't show you this. It's got individual outs, it's got tape save, left and right outputs, it's also got um, trigger ports which I removed and of course this is not stock these are all the volume sliders for each individual sound which is nice but I added as I seem to keep doing to all my EEPROM machines uh, tunability to all of the voices as well as for the toms so there's three toms I added uh, decay knobs to adjust the, the length of the tom sample as well as a hi-hat decay knob so let's turn it on and see how it sounds now one of the problems with the MXR drum machine is I think the, the firmware is actually a bit buggy if you run into a pattern that's kind of stored with bad information, it will hang the machine and you have to reboot it. Um, and you cannot change patterns on the fly. You have to stop it and then change the pattern, which kind of sucks. So, but let's see how it sounds. I've got a pattern stored 77 and it's running right now. So we'll bring up the hat. So that's the hat fully open. I can bring the decay down and bring it pretty tight. So we'll open that back up. This is a mix of closed and open high hats. And you can see that I can tune it down, a lot like other drum machines, but there's a weird thing in that the outputs are multiplexed here on this drum machine, and so you can turn the pitch too high, and it starts to get kind of an aliasing. It sends kind of like a 32 second effect. It's pretty cool, but it's kind of a ring modulation metallic thing. We'll bring it back to here and back to normal. And then we're going to kick. The kicks are actually pretty good. We'll bring that up. Now, one of the complaints about the MXR 185 was that the snare and the rim were pretty similar, and they are, so we'll bring those up. So that's the snare. Pretty fat. You can tune the kick up. So it's kind of a really high tom, really low, very thud like. So we'll put it back to normal. You can tune the snare way up and down. That's pretty nice. You can tune it way up so it's really tight. And we'll put it back to normal. Bring the rim in. So to give you the idea, that's the rim. Let me turn that way down. And an explosion, and really high and tight. Kind of a fuck. We'll do that there like that. So we can bring in the toms, and they're actually pretty good toms. I like them. So right now they're. Tuned pretty short, the decay is short, so there we go. You tune them way up, adjust the tune ups. You can tune them really low. Now that's really short, we can bring up the tom decay way out. Thumbs out, bring the craft symbol. Now, I added enough of the craft symbol, but I could not get it to be tuned, so it's just stock. Pretty good. The knob does nothing. Bring the claps out. Tune them way down. Tune them way high. Very clicky. I like on this one the block, it's kind of interesting. Get it kind of like an echo, and it really high. Not even audible. So, turn the block down, finally we have the bell, cowbell. And as you can see, I can try to change the pattern. I 
can't do anything to it, it won't change. I really have to turn it off to change the pattern so we can go to something very similar. And I can kill it. I can go to 80, that's a working pattern. Change the tempo slider in real time. Fast. And as you'll see, I can kill the machine by doing a uh, pattern that it doesn't like. So there you have it. And that's the MXR 185.